Hello, Rising Ground Church. Blessings to you all today. I'm so excited to share this word with you. If you're new to the family, we welcome you. We're glad to have you here. The Lord has been speaking to me on yesterday um, and this morning again, obviously, after he gave me this word, but he's been speaking to me about the number 222. Two, two. Um, he was just just saying it and seeing and I was seeing it and I'm like, Lord, okay, what are you saying to me? And the Lord will often speak to me in numbers, just like many of you. But the important thing is when the Lord speaks to you in a number or when you see it multiple times and you ask the Lord, what is it that you are showing me in this? A lot of us will immediately go to the scripture or immediately look up what we think the number means or look up to see what does the number mean or ask somebody else. And, and those things are fine to a certain degree, but you always need to ask the Lord, what are you showing me in that? Because you can look up um, anything. <laughs> and to be honest, you can look up anything and it, it can tell you what, what they say it means, whoever they is. But if that's not what the Lord is highlighting to you, then it doesn't matter. And so I've, I've kind of talked about this before in other videos, even about numbers and people will share what it means in the Strong's Concordance or what the Lord told them in a certain scripture or a certain verse. And that's fine if that's what the Lord told you, but it's my job to share with you what the Lord told me. And so if you're here and you're part of this ministry, then this word is for you. And so as the Lord was showing me 222 and he was speaking to me about it, then last night early in the morning, then he said, fresh manna, fresh manna. Now, it's no coincidence, obviously, that today as I record this and release this word, that it is March 22nd. 2022. And so there is great significance in that. And again, going back to numbers really quickly, you never want to worship numbers. You never want to get too caught up in it because that can actually pull you away from what God is trying to show you. But you do want to honor how God is speaking to you and recognize when he is speaking to you and allow him to give you the fresh revelation on it. So as the Lord was saying fresh manna to me, then I asked him, okay, Lord, I receive it. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Lord. And so for those of you who may not know, fresh manna is provision. So God is saying to you today that he's going to give you fresh provision. And he also said this, that it may come wrapped differently than what you thought. And as I was receiving this, then he did highlight to me and actually told me Deuteronomy 2.22. And so I'm like, okay, Holy Spirit, I'm following you. I'm listening to you. Let me see what Deuteronomy 2.22 says. And this is what it says, okay? He had done the same for the descendants of Esau who lived in Seir. For he destroyed the Horites so they could settle there in their place. The descendants of Esau live there to this day. Now, I encourage you to go and read, mm, shoot, really, all of chapter two, to be honest. But even if you just go up, we can go up to, let's see, let's go up to 18. Today you will cross the border of Moab, Moab at Ar, and enter the land of the Ammonites, the descendants of Lot. But do not bother them or start a war with them. I have given them the land, and I have as property, okay? And then it goes on to 19 and 20, and it says, basically, this is what the Lord is saying. Oh, let's go to 21, though. They were also as strong and numerous and tall as the Anakites, but the Lord destroyed them. Thank you, Lord. So that the Ammonites could occupy their land. Then 22 says, he had done the same for the descendants of Esau. Oh, thank you, Lord. He had done the same for the descendants of Esau who lived in Seir, for he destroyed the Horites so that they could settle there in their place. The descendants of Esau live there to this day. 
And so the Lord is highlighting so many things in those verses for you. Remember, when you receive a prophetic word, not only are you receiving what's being spoken to you right there specifically at that moment, but you're taking it back to the Lord and saying, God, is there anything else that you want to show me? Is there anything else that you want to speak to me on? And I love how God works in the prophetic because he will give you a word. He'll give you a meaning. He'll give you a definition. And then a week later, a month later, he'll give you more insight. He'll allow you to receive more revelation on it, even later on that day for some of you. And so as the Lord is saying this to you, then you ask him, what else are you speaking to me? How is this relatable to my current situation? So many of you are in situations right now where it's like, Lord, I don't know how things are going to move. And even some of you are tempted to take matters into your own hands. But God is saying that when he blesses you, and remember, it may come wrapped a little bit different than how, than how you thought it was going to come. But when the Lord blesses you, then it lasts and it goes on to other generations because it says Esau's descendants are still in that land now. And God did that for them. God removed people and things out of their way. And God will do the same for you. Now, if you're familiar with this ministry, then you know, we don't often talk about sowing seeds or even if we do, then we offer you to do that. But we never tell you like, you need to do a specific amount. But the Lord has placed this on my heart last night so strongly. And I believe that that's even what this fresh manna was about. For you to sow a seed into that fresh manna that includes a two, preferably double two. So whether that's $22, $2.22, 22 cents, whatever it is that you feel, but this is a point. Do not do it if you don't feel strongly attached to this word. Don't do it if you don't feel an unction in your spirit to do it. You do it if this word resonates with you and you do it if you feel it deep within your spirit that this is what you're supposed to do. And when you do it, you present this offering, this seed back to God and you say, Lord, you take this, multiply it. I am sowing into this word and I believe that you are giving me fresh provision on this day. So I pray that this word blesses you. Oh, and you can do that. And the, the links are in the description box, how you can do that to Rising Ground Church. And we know that the Lord is going to bless you. He's going to multiply. And most importantly, though, God will do exactly as he said. Now, sometimes when we sow seed, then there is the, the, the sowing time and then there is that reaping time. So allow the reaping time to come, but God will do exactly as he said. All right. Love you guys. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Expect fresh provision in your life. Bye-bye.